What's up Dragon Ball fans and collectors? The DBZ Collector here again with another display showcase video. And this time we'll be taking a look at my Cell Saga display. So if it's your first time watching my videos, you'll notice that the majority of the figures in all my displays are from the SH Figure Arts line by Tamashi Nations, with just a few additions of some other lines which I'll point out as we go along. Starting off on this bottom row, we have the 2.0 version of Trunks this time in his Saiyan armor. You'll notice the longer hair indicating this was his post hyperbolic time chamber training followed by none other than his father Vegeta. Now this Vegeta figure is actually the 2.0 Super Vegeta figure. However, I swapped the head with the 2.0 Scouter Vegeta as well as changed the arms from another Trunks figure since they were not as muscular just to mimic Vegeta in his base form. The Goku scene here is a custom kit bash. The Super Saiyan heads are from the recently released demoniacal fit Super Saiyan Goku Vegeta headsets and the body is from the Super Saiyan Blue Goku figure, which I not only swapped the belt but I also used Mr. Clean Magic Erasers to remove the kanji symbols off his gi just to get a more anime accurate look. Um, continuing on with the father-son duos, this here is the San Diego Comic-Con Super Saiyan Teen Gohan or SDCC Super Saiyan Teen Gohan. Now instead of using the cape that he comes with, I was able to get a wired cloth cape which I purchased from Daredevil 19. Just like with this SDCC Gohan, the SDCC Piccolo also received the Daredevil 19 cape treatment. Because when it comes to the cape mechanisms um, from SH Figure Arts, they are more often than not a bit disappointing, which is why I chose uh, for these figures that do have capes to get those wired cloth upgrades. Not only does it give the figure a, a more detailed look, but with the wires inside, it also allows for the capes themselves to be posed in different and various ways. Another example of this being the Mr. Satan here, he does have his own wired cloth cape as well. Now this one I got from an independent seller, which I can't for the life of me remember who. And yes, that is an Android 16 head that he's holding. But moving on up uh, is our main villain of the saga, Cell, in his second form. This particular figure is from the Ben Presto line, however it is just a static figure. The scene here marks one of my favorite parts of the series. And that's when Gohan finally reaches his Super Saiyan 2 form. Uh, this Teen Gohan uh, is the first 2.0 version of the character and it's also the first battle damage version and really the second ba battle damage version of all in the whole series. Uh, the cell that you see him punching is the premium color edition which this particular cell figure uh, differs from the original in that it's just a brighter color palette. Completing the evolution of Cell is the android in his first form. This static figure is from a line called Dragon Ball Creatures. And as you can see from this figure, the Creatures line is known for depicting Dragon Ball villains in a bit more gruesome detail. Now behind the Cell, you'll be able to see the Super Vegeta figure as he was meant to be. He's got the bulkier arms and shoulders and of course the Super Saiyan head. However, just like how I altered Vegeta to make a base form, I did the same with Trunks here. I swapped the arms with the Vegeta figure to give him a more bulky, muscular look. And the Super Saiyan head and face is from the Demoniacal Fit uh, Trunks set. And what better way to close off the display than to highlight the iconic scene of Gohan with his one-handed Kamehameha. The aura which can be seen behind him is a custom one made by Starlord Rocks, which I appropriately deemed the spirit of Goku. Because um, as we all know in that uh, particular scene, it's where Goku comes back from the afterlife to uh, help Gohan defeat Cell. Now that will just about do it for this video. Uh, this was a bit of a short one, 
and just because there's not that many figures for this saga unfortunately they did tease a first uh, form cell so hopefully that does get to come out but if you liked any of the effects custom pieces and or third party figures and accessories shown in this display and you're interested in getting them for yourself you can follow the creators to see more of their work I will leave their account information at the end of the video and in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. But until then, I will see you guys next time.